Welcome to Lively Pets, your place for all things pets. In today's video, we're taking a look at 10 dog breeds that are now believed to be extinct. But don't worry, their modern day descendants still carry many of their original traits. From the African hairless dog to the big game hunting Alant, these breeds were known for their roles in history. So without further ado, grab your leash and let's get started. Many of the breeds on our list you've probably never heard of before. Or maybe you recognize some key characteristics that we can see in modern day breeds. The first breed on our list is no different. The African Hairless Dog. The African Hairless Dog is a breed that is considered to be extinct in its purebred form. There still exist today several extremely closely related versions that almost look identical to the original breed, but with slight variations, like the Zolowitz Quintley. The African hairless dog was known by many names depending upon what part of Africa it was seen in, from the Egyptian hairless dog, the Zulu sand dog, or the Abyssinian sand dog. A number of early European accounts from travelers to Africa mention a small hairless dog that was fast moving with a short, sharp bark, and it was said to be either sandy colored or blue black. Some reports say that it may or may not have had small tufts of hair on the top of its head and tail. Many think that the Chinese Crested is a descendant of the African hairless dog, since its origins are believed to be African instead of Chinese. Up next on the list is the Alant. The Alant is what is known as a Molosser breed, meaning it originated in the Molossia region of ancient Epirus, which is modern-day Greece and Albania. They are thought to have originally been bred by the Alani tribes who were known as superb warriors, herdsmen, and breeders of horses and dogs. As such, the Alant was renowned primarily for its quality as a large game catch dog, war dog, and guard dog. Today's Mastiffs are thought to be direct descendants of the Alant. Continuing on our list, we have the Argentine Polar Dog. The Argentine Polar Dog existed until the late 20th century in Argentina, where it was created by mixing breeds like the Alaskan Malamute, Greenland Dog, Manchurian Spitz, and Siberian Husky. These large dogs were used by Argentine armies to equip and protect their Antarctica bases as they strove to reach the South Pole. This now extinct breed was bred to carry heavy loads and travel long distances easily, much like the Malamute and Husky. They became extinct when the armies left the South Pole and the Argentine polar dog no longer served much purpose. Other countries around the world had other alternative cold weather working dogs, so the polar dog lineage quickly died off. Another breed that we are sad to say is now extinct is the old Croatian Sighthound. This large breed is thought to be the main ancestor of what we know today as the Greyhound. They were bred by the Celts for coursing or hunting wild game like hares in the Balkan countries of Bosnia and Croatia. Old Croatian Sighthounds were almost identical to today's Greyhounds, although slightly smaller. They had a short coat that was mostly white with black, brown, red, or yellow patches. During the early days of Yugoslavia, 1940s era, the government banned coursing with sighthounds and further prohibited hunters from owning dogs without a kennel club registration. Since the breed never received official recognition from any kennel club, its numbers diminished quickly. In the early 1980s, some remaining specimens were found and brought to the Zagreb School of Veterinary Medicine with the hope of starting a breeding program. But ultimately, the program failed and the old Croatian sighthound was believed to be extinct by 1995. Up next on our list of extinct breeds is the Polynesian Dog. The name Polynesian Dog actually refers to several varieties of domesticated dogs from the islands of Polynesia, such as the Curie, Maori Dog, New Zealand Indigenous Dog, and the Pero Pero. These dogs were used for both companionship and food and were introduced to the islands alongside poultry and pigs. DNA evidence shows that Polynesian dogs descended from the domesticated dogs of Southeast Asia and shared an ancestor with the dingo. They became extinct as a result of crossbreeding that occurred after European breeds were introduced. Another breed of dog that is now considered extinct is the Lyomer. The Lyomer was a large, heavily built canine that was used on a leash in medieval times to track down large game. A handler would take his Lyomer out at dawn and identify signs of game that had recently been present. 
he would set his dog on the trail to flush out the animal where a pack of ratches would be waiting to chase it down and dispatch it. It is believed that the Lyomer breed very closely resembled that of the bloodhound. It was primarily used to hunt wild boar. As the boar became extinct in Britain, the interest of the British changed to fox hunting and the Lyomer lost its usefulness. Today, the name Lyomer is used more to describe the job of the dog in hunting than it is to describe the original breed. Up next on our list is the Paisley Terrier. The Paisley Terrier was a breed of terrier-type dog originating in Scotland and was bred primarily as a pet and show dog. It is an ancestor of today's Yorkshire Terrier and very much resembles the modern-day breed with a silky, flowing coat of blue and tan. It was noted that the Paisley Terrier was actually very good at hunting and killing rats. However, they were kept mostly as pets by the higher class. It was on the verge of extinction before World War I, and soon after, no records existed of the breed. Another breed of dog that met its early end was the Fuegian dog. The Fuegian dog, also known as the Yagan dog, was a domesticated canine that bore a close resemblance to a jackal or a wolf. They had erect ears, sharp snout, and thick tail, usually tawny-colored or white. It was known for its lack of loyalty to its owners. It was said that they were never seen to take an aggressive attitude to defend their masters in danger. Instead, they seemed rather indifferent. However, that was not the case when it came to livestock. The fierce nature of the breed was witnessed on several occasions killing cattle and goats. In 1919, missionaries questioned the absence of the breed in the Yagan villages and was told the entire population of the Fuegian dog had been exterminated because they were a danger to other animals and people. The ninth extinct breed on our list is the Sleuth Hound. The Sleuth Hound was the Scottish version of the Bloodhound, with a few slight differences. The Bloodhound is said to have been larger and had a larger variety of colors, whereas the Sleuth Hound was only red or black with large patches of smaller spots. They were both used to primarily scent and track criminals and were renowned for being exceptional at their jobs. Somewhere around the 1700s, any differences between the two types disappeared and all instances of this hound became known as the Bloodhound. And the last breed on our list is the Bull and Bizer. The bull and bizer was known for its strength and agility and specialized in bull baiting and boar hunting. It was a molosser type dog native to Germany and was also known as the Baron Bizer, Bull and Biter, German Mastiff, and the German Bulldog. It was a large sized dog with a big head and thin but muscular legs. They had wide front stances, flat chests, tall ears, and a muscled jaw. It became extinct by crossbreeding with the Bulldog to make one of the most popular breeds on the planet today, the Boxer. And there you have it, 10 breeds that are now considered extinct today. But that's not all of them. There are over 50 different breeds that have met an early end, whether by purposeful extermination or breeding out of the lineage altogether. Keep an eye out for more videos on others. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you never miss another video. Until next time, keep on wagging on.